Oh, I'm going to flip the recorder back on here, so I okay. put this in our recording. So, um, you know, as we were finishing up, I was uh, just asking about uh, uh, sleep. And so um, I'll send you a bottle of uh, uh, Vitalize also. And um, it's a, a, a substance to clean out your lymphatic system. Mm -hmm. And I have never tried mixing a, a, the herbs up in... Um, in uh, chocolate bliss or fiesta mole soup so you might try that and see how that works with you another option is uh do you have a, a tea ball do you ever make teas oh yeah i drink a lot of tea okay so um what i would suggest uh since you've got the situation where even even herbs will uh tend to be um, sometimes have rough edges and mm -hmm. um probably better to um, you know, you can you can try blending them up in um, uh, soup is probably going to be um, you probably won't notice the flavor in soup, uh, or you can make a tea. Just uh, open up, you know, six caps in a tea ball, and uh, the the primary component's red raspberry leaf, so it'll taste like raspberry tea. It makes great tea. That's what I drink a lot. Is uh, uh, it's because it has no caffeine. Yeah, and caffeine's one of the things that's told I'm not supposed to have. Yeah, caffeine's a, a no no. Yeah, so I drink a lot of um, herb tea, uh, chamomile tea, uh, raspberry tea. Um, so now the green teas to have caffeine are those okay to drink? I haven't been. Yeah, I would probably steer clear of those. The only caffeine that I would take are, are uh, uh, in you know, like for example, in cold processed or low temperature processed cacao. There's a form of okay. caffeine, but it's a, a non-stimulant. It's an adaptogen caffeine. In other words, adaptogens, as the sun gets higher and higher, uh, you'll feel uh, energetic, and as the sun gets lower and lower, you'll feel uh, more restful. Okay. And so uh, the hallmark of an adaptogen is that adaptogens actually follow the the trajectory of sun. And if they, you know, if you wow. if you eat chocolate and you you know at night and you uh, feel stimulated, or the same way with yerba mate or guarana um, or ma huang, those are what you have there is not an adaptogen. It's a it's a stimulant or um, uh, it's been burnt and denatured where it's no longer in its uh, normal adaptogenic food form. So the dark chocolate have that? Like I like dark chocolate and uh Well yeah, I mean the chocolate we start with is a hundred percent chocolate, so okay. uh, you're you're probably gonna like this. Uh, you had okay. you had some chocolate bliss when you were over at our house, right? I did, right. And Chris has made me her chocolate drink too. Yeah. Uh when I go to visit her, she'll make me some up and so yeah, and at this point I'm I'm more concerned with what's going to get me and keep me healthy. Because I, I just can't live like this anymore. Yeah. So uh, just to just to wrap up on the sleep, and then um, uh, yeah. I think that's uh, we've had pl plenty of you know, you'll be digesting these conversations for a while. Yeah. So the um, sleep. Yeah. So sleep apnea, especially when it gets so bad, you have to use a CPAP machine. Is um, the reason that occurs is uh, from uh, inflammation in your sinus and throat passage. And so basically it gets to a point where your entire sinuses and throat passage closes until you are suffocating. Right. And so what the CPAP machines is do, do is they put a, you know, a, a positive um, uh, atmospheric or not, not full atmosphere, but they put positive pressure so that they basically force open your, your airway so that you can get oxygen. Right. Uh, and so what will happen is once you start down the, the road of, you know, stopping eating animal products, I mean, that's animal products and uh, processed food, uh, any type of medications, all that stuff is going to tend to inflame tissue and wake, make sleep apnea worse. Or it may be the entire uh, reason for it. Mm -hmm. uh, usually the primary component to sleep apnea is dairy products. Uh, not so much, uh, you know, uh, meat products will interfere with your uh, reversing your um, uh, colitis, uh, but the dairy products are really bad for um, uh, inflaming your tissue. And then also the other uh, really bad one is uh, cashew nuts. Oh, really? I love cashew. Yeah, so cashews, um, I, I'd recommend that you... Um, 
you know, steer clear completely of cashews and all nuts like we talked about before until yeah. all your pain uh, is gone. And also, um, once you're off your CPAP machine, which you may find is much faster than you imagine, never possible, uh, what you can do is, um, uh, you know, wait for a week or so until you've, you've got a baseline to work from and then uh, phase in one new food uh, um, every few days. So, okay. like, you know, you eat cashews for a day and then, you know, um, uh, skip for another day. And if you have no uh, problem with your sleep, then, you know, you you can guess that uh, cashews, you can probably um, phase those back in, in mo you know, everything in moderation. moderation. Um, you know, dairy products, though. I mean, if, if I, if I you know, ate any kind of dairy, my sinuses would just close up. Got it. Uh, so um, uh, the, uh, uh, the other little trick that you might try um, uh, right before bed that will uh, potentially help is um, if uh, when you make your... Um, uh, your Vitalize uh, tea, which I'd recommend you drink, you know, uh, later in the evening. Mm -hmm. Like try, like try to wrap up your, all your, uh, even your smoothie and soup intake by around five or six at night. Okay. And then if you're going to have anything else um, uh, later on, just uh, stick with teas. Okay. And the Vitalize tea especially would be really great. Um, you know, take, just open six caps in a tea ball and uh, make you a tea. And then once you've got that tea, put it in a ball jar and open up one of those enzymes and put it in there and shake it up and drink the, the uh, enzyme with the tea. And that will um, uh, accelerate the ability for the herbs to be metabolized and also the, um, the proteolytic enzymes uh, inside the... Uh, uh, you know, the proteolytic enzymatic material inside the enzymes will uh, help actually reduce the inflammation, too. Fantastic. Okay. So you may find that, the you know, you're probably, well, I, I suspect that, uh, you know, a month from now we'll have a different conversation than we're having now. That'd be awesome. All right. All right, David. I really appreciate you taking the time more than you know. Oh, good. Well, I'm, I, hopefully this will work out for you. And um, okay. if I think of anything else, um, give me a give me a, a top ceiling on your budget today, and I'll make sure that I stay under that. Let's try to stay at least under 400 today. Okay. Um, so and then in another couple of weeks, I'll have some more money. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, 400 that, I mean, that'll, I mean, if you think about it, uh, $400, is this is going to be some of the cheapest groceries you've ever had because there's no you know, price to pay at the end of it. Most, right. most people, what they do is they think, you know, they buying a bag of Cheetos and some pop or something is a, or a hamburger is cheap food, but they, once you figure out that, you know, you're going to die a slow, painful death and have to be in the clutches of the the uh, witch doctors for the rest of your life, um, right. you know, hacking and burning and drugging your tissue, that's not such a good... Uh, um, you know, I'd love my husband to hear this. He is the biggest junk food junkie. Yeah. I love him to death, and I'm I'm just as bad. Um, but I will eat what my son and my husband eat because it's hard to make two meals every day all the time. Well, here's here's the way you fix that. They they are on their own. I mean that's the that's the way that uh, like when when we had kids here and they were eating different than us that's fine they just had to to fix their own you know stuff food because I, yeah. I you know and we had an absolute rule no animal products uh, passed the door uh. um, so um, so here's the way that I would suggest you uh, you know you uh, pitch this information to your husband is say. Uh, honey, could you just um, go through this and listen to it so that you can help me? Okay. Yeah, don't be you don't be saying you know I'm tired of eating junk food because no. you know I'm I'm gonna have to freaking take care of you when you're you know in a walker or on uh, you know got pipes and tubes running out of your body running you on a ventilator or something. You don't no, need to... I just want him healthy too. Oh yeah, I mean that's the I mean what's the what's the good of uh, you know being alive if you you feel so bad you wish you were dead. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. All right. Well, I'll uh, I'll go uh, uh, talk with Aaron here, and he'll give you. Oh, it's only noon, so uh, your order will ship today. So. Oh, fantastic. You'll you might have it. Uh, Katie's pretty close. You might have it tomorrow, and certainly by Monday. Okay. Thanks so 
so much, David. I You're really welcome. Appreciate it. Take care, Renee. Okay, Annie. you too. Bye bye.